my lovely humans. Welcome back to my daily channel, Illustrating Failure. If you are new here, my name is Janie and I'm just a new art school grad trying to just make it through the world of freelancing and just life in general. If you want to know a little bit more about me and why I started this daily try hard channel, feel free to check out my intro video up here where I explain a little bit more about why I'm doing all of this. <laughs> and so today is Monday again and we're back with another self-care Mondays. And so today's video is kind of a part two to my artist managing wrist pain video that I did like a few weeks back. Just a recap on me managing my wrist pain. Um, so about five years ago, I was diagnosed with tendonitis when I did this really repetitive task at this job that I was working at the time. And so the moral of that is to never like push um, your body too much uh, for any job because injuries you take with you for the rest of your life and no amount of money can fix it sometimes. But anyways, after that, um, it's been a lot about managing the injury, but in my final year of art school, I really pushed myself way too hard. And so that kind of progressed into a carpal tunnel. Um, and so that was like a really big wake up call because I had been doing stretches before, but um, I wasn't taking it as seriously as I should have. Um, to prevent my injury from um, progressing this far. And so it's been an uphill battle since then to try to manage the injury so that I can keep on like, you know, putting in my best and to keep on working um, and doing what I love as an artist and, you know, just keep on working in general. And so in my last video, I went through a number of stretches that I do at my desk to prevent further injury and to manage my injury. Those are really good stretches that I kind of like compile from like a number of like videos and also um, like doctor tips together. So definitely check that out if you're looking for some stretches to do at your desk. And so even though I'm coming at this from a point of view of an artist, um, this information can definitely be applied to pretty much anyone who works at a desk for long periods of time. And so today I'm going to be diving into the ergonomic side of things to protect your hands from um, injuries. And so honestly, I wasn't really into ergonomics until maybe like a month ago, like right before I started all of this. Um, because I was trying to figure out different ways to managing my injury. and. I'm going to be like brutally honest with you, like doing the ergonomic um, stuff, like not just having the ergonomic things, but actually like doing, um, having the ergonomic positions while I work has been like night and day for me. So I'm going to share some resources and I'm going to show you guys my setup. And so for the first part of the video, I'm going to go through my setup here in my studio. And for the second part of the video, I'm going to go through some important ergonomic tips like while you're working, both for like desk work and for um, drawing as an artist. For the third section and most important section, I'm going to go through which of the um, ergonomic equipment was actually the most helpful to me because um, I know that like a lot of these ergonomic things are pricey and so like it's good to know like which is best to invest in. And so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, so I have my setup here. Um, so I have my ergonomic keyboard and I have my ergonomic mouse, a regular mouse, and also like this armrest here as well. And then I have this back cushion for some lumbar support. So this keyboard is a curved keyboard and like the keys like are slightly slanted so that um, it is easier and like more natural for your hand to like type because otherwise like we're usually typing like this which puts a strain on our wrists and then also like this mouse it's a vertical mouse it's the MX vertical and this is the uh, Logitech Ergo K860 and so this Vertical mouse also, um, it's supposed to be like more contoured to the natural shape and rest position of your hands so that way like you're not straining it quite as much. 
And then I also have like this armrest here. Um, the armrest, I really like it because um, sometimes like if I'm like working and stuff, I like to have that um, support on my arm when I need to rest it because otherwise like like I'm just like constantly straining and we don't want to put any more strain on our arms more than we need to. And I also have like this um, cushion here for lumbar support. And I also have like a butt cushion as well. I think this is for like tailbone support because I was having some tailbone pain for a little while. I know I'm like starting to get old. I'm getting like all these pains, but it's been helpful for me so far. So I enjoy my cushion. And so for this next part, it's about ergonomic positioning. Um, honestly, like I didn't start doing this until maybe like a month or two ago um, when I was like really desperate in finding anything, something to help me manage my wrist pain because I knew that I was doing something wrong because it was just so painful for me to type or to do any sort of work. But finding um, videos about ergonomics and like actually hearing them um, has been like a really big part in helping me manage and preventing further wrist injuries at my desk. First off, I'm going to go through the keyboard positioning. So before I had like, I have like this keyboard, which came with my iMac and I kind of just had it like in this corner um, under my iMac and I was typing like this because I was using like this whole section um, for my art. And so I'd have my sketchbooks here. I have like all my other work here. And so when it comes to emails and other things, I would be like typing over here doing promos, rep responding to things, or if I'm like writing proposals, it's all over here. And I thought like this was okay because like I'm keeping my um, arms straight, but no, that is not, that is not the right <laughs> position for your hand. And it was actually like adding the most strain to my wrist without me even knowing it. And so after watching some videos, I found out that you're actually supposed to have it like close to you here. And then your arm should be at like a, 90 degree angle 90 degrees <laughs> for when you're typing and like that is like the best position um for like your arm to rest and also when you're typing um you're supposed to have like floating wrist and not like typing like this no no none of this i was doing a lot of this <laughs> which ow i can i can feel it if i don't do it right just right now too um, yeah, so you're supposed to keep it floating, um, arm straight. I think it's even better if I'm like slightly like higher up. And so like everything is kept straight and I'm typing like this. And so before I figured out the ergonomics, um, I was just trying to buy ergonomic things. And so I purchased like this keyboard, which has like the slanted keys as I showed you guys earlier. And I think this keyboard does actually really help me. Um, it does feel more natural as I'm typing, even like in the more like ergonomic position, like just having the angles um, is actually super helpful. But see this cushion here, you're not actually supposed to like rest your arms or wrists on it as you type. That wrist support is actually just for when you're resting between typing and then afterwards you go back to the hovering position. And then for the mouse, I have like, this is like my old mouse that like I used to use for my laptop. And you're supposed to also have like the same like hovering uh, hand. So it's like 90 degrees and then, you know, you're hovering, not like this with your wrist like this, but like actually um, hovering up and then you're going with your whole arm at 90 degrees. And then also like if you do have like some kind of like wrist pad or like some cushion here that's like for rest as well it's not for you to um you know rely on to um, use the mouse with and so this here is like for me to have that extra support like when I am resting for some artist stuff um so for drawing I have this box which looks like kind of ghetto but it actually really helps me and so I put my iPad on here like this and so this is pretty much the same concept as like a drafting table. 
um, or like just any sort of little platform just so that I don't have to like lean over like this onto the table and then strain my upper back but here having this is really good for um, just like when I draw and also when you're drawing um, try not to like use your wrist to do like the motions because that's like actually quite straining for your wrist so like it's really hard to um, change your habits but if you can like it is the best to try to like use your whole arm when you draw versus like just because that like causes like little tensions like to that wrist and like it adds like strain so try to like use your whole arm and so I think ideally like we would be working at an angle all the time so we can uh, use our whole arm and it'd be a lot easier but you know if you only have like a flat surface I think like still trying to use your arm itself like your whole arm itself is very beneficial for your drawing habits and like if you do have like a larger cardboard box or something you can like do like a makeshift thing <sighs> we find our ways maybe something underneath here can keep this at an angle <laughs> this is almost like animal crossing where you use like cardboard boxes to make stuff when you first move in but hey if it works also you should try to keep um both feet on the ground flat in addition to like the other postures as well to have the least amount of strain on your body and so for this third part i'm gonna go through what i feel about buying like all this stuff for like my ergonomic setup at my desk and so i'm gonna be honest with you that the keyboard and the mouse um, and even like the back cushion was not cheap to buy um, for my office setup um, for me personally i was in a position to um, spend the extra money on these things so I chose to make that investment because um, this is where I'm gonna be working most of the time and like I was at such you know like I was like back into a corner with like my wrist pain so I was just doing anything I physically possibly can to try to prevent myself from you know aggravating my injuries and so I think if you were to choose between um, the keyboard versus the mouse, I think the keyboard actually um, helps me a lot more than the mouse itself. Um, I purchased this mouse because actually my roommate, um, she was having some wrist pain like earlier this year and she purchased this mouse first and she said it really helped her. And I think in the beginning it really helped me but then after a while like maybe it's my positioning or it's just my arm is just adjusting to it um and then injuring itself further after i adjusted to it but i think it does um cause me pain like from the middle middle down for my hand whereas like the regular mouse it causes me pain from like my pinky down both of them cause me pain <laughs> <laughs> but I think my best solution that I found was to kind of like um, alternate between the two of them for me um, I think this like just having this mouse here this is actually like a really good mouse this is the M325 it's a $20 mouse really cheap and just actually doing the correct ergonomic positioning for this um, has made more of a difference in terms of uh, my wrist pain than um, this ergonomic vertical mouse has just gonna be honest with you and like this back cushion like it's definitely helped me with my back pain when I'm like resting but I think a lot of the time I'm like leaning forward anyway so like this doesn't help me as much but if you're someone who like leans back a lot and you don't have a lot of back support I definitely would recommend this yeah and so my final verdict is that more so than having um, the ergonomic equipment, it's about like having like just being uh, mindful of like your ergonomic like hand positions will make a bigger difference for you than like just buying the stuff and then you know like not using it correctly. Um, I bought this before I realized that you're supposed to, there's like an ergonomic way 
of like sitting and like typing and all of that. So this definitely did not help me um, when I didn't do the ergonomic positions along with it. But it was definitely like doing both of them at the same time that like has made a huge like night and day difference between me being able to type emails and like write proposals versus me just like in constant pain from just doing nothing honestly sometimes like the pain really builds up so yeah please take care of your wrists and your hands and try to like keep the posturing to the best of your abilities it'll be hard to like remember at first but you know honestly like it's it's so important to do so so just keep on reminding yourself and like back in the correct place and honestly in terms of managing wrist pain it all works um the best in synergy along with like the wrist stretches and breaks in between your working and also like just doing some activity in your day when you can and you know just trying to like strengthen your arms at the same time so that you can just keep on going and so yeah thank you so much you guys for watching um i hope you guys like learned something or like got some hot tips on you know a good healthy setup for your arms so that you can keep on going whether you are an artist or just you know you're just working on your desk all the time and feel free to check out my other video where i go through a bunch of um, stretches that I do at my desk to keep the wrist pain at bay so that we can just keep on going. And so yeah, I included some links to some um, physiotherapy like ergonomic people below so feel free to check those out. And so if you like this video, please remember to leave me a thumbs up and if you want to hang out more in the future, I got some other hot tips and you know just a lot of trying hard to survive in this world of art, freelancing, life in general, just hit that subscribe button and I will see you tomorrow on Illustrating Philia. Bye!